Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. You know, over the last couple of weeks, I've put out a couple of videos where I talk about conspiracy theory versus scientific thinking. And characteristic number four of science denial, and that is poor deductive reasoning. Well, it's a little bit more than that. A scientific mind is one that is fascinated by inquiry. It's a curious mind. Uh, if you see a rainbow, many people will say, well, that's a beautiful rainbow, but scientists will say that as well. And then they'll ask, I wonder what causes that. And then they'll look into it and they'll do some experimentation. Here we have the fittest flat earther and we have the pride of Canada, Colonel Chris Hatfield. Now, during his time as commander of the International Space Station, he did a demonstration for school children in Canada. And this is actually a pretty interesting demonstration. He got this washcloth and he soaked it with water and then he wrung it out in zero G. Let's have a quick look. So here's a soaking wet washcloth. Get the microphone so you can hear me while I'm talking. And now let's let's start wringing it out. There's a guy probably holding this with a green screen. It's really wet. He's here with a green outfit on, twisting this. Now I'm gonna show you all the dogs in these bubbles in a second here. Now this is an interesting demonstration for a couple of reasons. Number one, as he wrings out the washcloth, notice how the water just kind of extrudes out of the washcloth. It doesn't drip, it doesn't float away, and more importantly, pay attention to the bubbles in the water. They're not going up, down, or any other direction. They're simply staying right where they are because they're in microgravity. The other thing that's interesting about this is how long this demonstration takes. Parabolic flight with an aircraft only gives you microgravity for 10 to 15 seconds at a time, maybe 20. He does this for over 30 seconds. The other thing that's very interesting is watching the capillary action pull the water up over his hand. These are things that are fascinating to a scientific mindset. Let's listen to what the Flat Earther thinks about it. So if you're seeing my videos for the first time, the liars of the world, they put dogs, dog CGI, in the lies of the world just to mock us, to say how dumb we are. Probably to mock God too, but I'll show you more in a second. Just clear shots here. You know, maybe if I show people this daily, it'll catch on more than it is, but here's a dog. Here's its little lips and mouth and nose and eye and eye. That's an intentional dog in their lies that they're up in the International Space Station. There's no International Space Station. Well, there's an International Space Station, but it's called an airplane up high in the sky, not in space. So while many of us that are watching this video are fascinated by the physics involved, he finds dogs in the bubbles because that's the sign of deceit by NASA. I really don't know what more to say about it. This is Bob the Science Guy. Follow me for more. I'll see you again soon. Take care.